I am Dr. Dale Brown. I'm chairman of the Department of Otolaryngology, head and neck surgery here at the Medical Center. We see cancers that start in the sinuses that extend into the base of skull uh, up into the brain. We see cancers that start in the ear canal and salivary glands, uh, the mouth, the tongue, the voice box, uh, the neck, the thyroid. Uh, it's more of a regional spectrum of the cancers that we treat. We have a, uh, a multidisciplinary approach for these type of cancers and so certainly a lot of these are going to be treated by surgery as the main type of therapy. But uh, additionally, radiation therapy, chemotherapy uh, play a huge role and, and part of the offerings that we have at the medical center is being able to orchestrate this into the type of treatment that is best suited to the individual patient. Uh, our goal is to take patients that uh, uh, were perhaps out of the mainstream of what they would consider their quality of life and be able to get them back into that as much as possible. Radiation therapy has enhanced ways to treat patients to be able to ready the tumor and then avoid a lot of the complications of having treatment to those areas that uh, you don't want to have a lot of radiation to. Part of the anatomy uh, of this region that we have of where people can develop growths and tumors is the skull base and the skull base is sort of the uh, ceiling of your sinuses in your ear and kind of the floor of where your brain sits and so that sort of interface uh, has nerves and blood vessels and critical structures that have to be dealt with if you're going to remove something surgically. Uh, that is a prime area where we have a very strong collaborations between otolaryngology and other disciplines, especially, uh, especially neurosurgery. Robotic surgery is one of the uh, strengths that we have at our department here and is really uh, a strong example of, uh, of how we have uh, uh, advanced the field in terms of trying to uh, improve uh, quality of life. Robotic surgery allows us to, re to remove cancers through mainly an in, in, uh, endoscopic portal which allows patients to have less toxic therapy and therefore uh, helps, Im helps uh, improve their quality of life. One of the big advantages in, uh, of the endoscopic minimally invasive procedures is the, is the ability to take endoscopes, small lighted tubes that we can look on the camera and the television and be able to uh, place them in places that we normally would have to do very large procedures to even see. Uh, uh, we are at the point now where we routinely can offer patients abilities to have uh, skull base gross removed endoscopically. Beforehand, we would have to do open craniotomies to be able to expose these. So this definitely uh, enhances our theme of trying to give excellent care with uh, excellent quality of life.